For this video, we're going to discuss the status monitor. We will be covering what the different colors and columns mean. The status monitor shows all defined resources for that region and or linked regions and their statuses. I will be using the IP resource monitor to do all of my displays. All the same information applies to the resource monitor. You can access the resource monitor option by using the shortcut slash rmon or m.r from the main menu. You can access the IP resource monitor option by using the shortcut slash ipmon or m.i. From the monitor's primary menu screen, select either R for resource monitor or I for IP resource monitor. The upper right corner will show you the running system image. In this case, it is CA11N-002. PF1, which is help from the resource monitor, will show you what the colors mean and an explanation of the column headings. The resource column identifies the resource or service name. The resources will be displayed in different colors depending on the resource status. Your colors could be different if you changed your color setting in the PC emulator. But by default, the resources on the monitors are displayed in green unless exception conditions exist, in which case the following colors are used. The color red indicates a resource with an outstanding severity 1 alert or a serious error during data sampling. The color yellow indicates a resource with an outstanding severity 2 alert. The color pink indicates a resource with an outstanding severity 3 alert or whose actual state is inactive. The color blue indicates a resource with an outstanding severity 4 alert. The color white indicates a resource with an unknown or no attribute error status. The color turquoise indicates a resource with a timeout error or an SNMP error status during data sampling. Netmaster uses these same colors throughout the product, for example in the alert monitor and the IP summary. The class column identifies the type of the resource or service. For example, ASMON for address space monitor. The system identifies the system image that owns the resource. If you have a linked or synced system, you will have multiple systems on your focal region, if the region is running a focal region. In this case, we're not linked and synced, so all the resources reside in the system image, CA11N. The actual column displays the resource status. This is set when the last resource sample was taken. There are four possible states for this column and they are active, inactive, which is where the resource is inactive or does not exist on the system, degraded, which is when one or more resource attributes has returned something other than OK, unknown, which is written when the resource status cannot be determined. The monitor status displays the status of the resource. The possible values for the columns are OK, which is the last sample was successful, error or SNMP error, which is where an error occurred during the last sample, dash, which means the monitoring activity for the resource is inactive or unknown. Alert count lists all of the alerts currently open for the resource. Max severity displays the highest alert level reported. The last SAMP column is when the last sample was taken and the next SAMP column is indicates when the next sample will be taken. This is in an hour-hour, minute-minute format. If monitoring activity in the resource section is set to inactive, this is set to a dash. For resource classes, having multiple sampling applications, for example Stack, CIP, and Router, this column represents the next sampling application to be scheduled for processing. The over column displays the override flag, indicating an override command has been issued for the resource. Other videos will be created in the future to go over the primary line commands, so please check back frequently.